Hey guys, I'm out here at the range shooting Glock 19. Uh, shot at USPSA this weekend. Had some ammo issues uh, from reloading. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot some of my reloads and just see how it, how it functions. Block 17 max fitting there too, that's kind of nice. Now I've had this happen, I just put in the three and a half pound connector and the Wolf spring kit which includes the, uh, the firing pin spring, light, primer strike. You know, you guys uh, saw I, I probably put 25 rounds through there, no problems. Every now and then I get that light primer strike though, I'm going to go back and, and put, the, uh, put the stock the stock spring back in there I don't have any issues this is CCI primers um, you know should work with everything but just be warned that's why you go out and test it that way you don't you're not carrying it um, or shooting in competition then you run into these kind of failures it's shooting really good I like this I like I shoot Glocks well as I said before in my previous video where I compared the Glock 17 uh, Smith and West or uh, Smith and Wesson M&P Compact and uh, well, my Springfield XDM, you know, it, it doesn't feel as great, but but man, if you can shoot it, that's what matters. Uh, let's look at the target real quick. I'll not too shabby. So these are KCI mags. I got them for my uh, Glock 34 and. Ten dollars a piece, cheaper than dirt. I know some people don't like to order from them because they were uh, inflating prices and everything. But it was a, it was the only place I could find them. It was the cheapest place I could find them at the time, and they seem to function fine. You know, those last three rounds going in there are pretty tough. But um, you use your reloader tool here from Up Lula, and it, it works. It works fine, and they they function just fine. So. I'm going to be shooting. I've got a couple more magazines loaded up. They're KCI, the Korean made. Ten bucks a piece, man. Sure beats 30. There's another one. Yeah, I might have to change that spring out. Notice the brass is ejecting back too, um, like right on me, and I, I'm not sure if that's just uh, because it's my reloads, uh, the powder I'm using, maybe there's not enough in there to, to really kick it out, or if it's the extra extractor and I'm going to have to send it back. Let's try that one that didn't go off again. 
Here's a magazine with uh, some 115 grain. What I was shooting before was 124 grain. Let's see if uh, it ejects a little bit better. Another light primer strike. There's another one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get home and put that other string in. Or spring in. Yeah, that's getting to be too many. There's a third one. Hey guys, so here's just a, a few final thoughts on the, the Glock 19. Um, it's clear. So uh, I do like this gun. It's, it's really growing on me. I wasn't a, a huge fan of, of the Glock, but once I picked it up, started shooting it, uh, breaking it down, um, changing out a few parts, um, you know, extended mag release, it, it's all really easy uh, to work on. You know, for someone who's not a master gunsmith, I really think yeah, you can change out the sights. Uh, you can do things like that. There's so many helpful videos on YouTube and uh, instructions out there. And there's so many parts that are, you know, cheap, uh, cheaper than, let's say, something for your custom 1911 or something like that, of course. Um, so, and, and, you know, for under 20 bucks, you can, you can get this thing down to a two and a half or three and a half pound trigger. Um, if you're going to use that for just planking at the range or competition or whatever you want to do. But one of the things I've noticed about this is I've got a Glock 34 and a Glock 19. And, uh, you know, a lot of it's probably me. I need to train more. But I probably shoot just about as well with this as I do with the Glock 34. So um, it's a good gun. I really like it. Um, so uh, I'm becoming more of a Glock fan. Um, the more and more I, I shoot it. I really do enjoy it. It's really growing on me. Um, so that's just my final thoughts and advice on it. Uh, so, it, you know, for the price that, that I was able to get these for, you can't beat it. I can't preach it enough. Find a, an authorized um, law enforcement dealer uh, for Glock. If you're in the military or law enforcement, you can get these at a heck of a deal. Um, you know, $100 to $150 cheaper than the MSRP. So you do that, and if you were saving up for you know full price MSRP, well there, because you can get a nice uh, holster, extra magazines, ammo. Uh, there's there's some money for the rest of that. So uh, enjoyed uh, making the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I'll talk to you later.